After my grandfather sadly passed away, I decided it was time to take out a $3 million loan, move out to his old farm, and restart over from scratch. Find out what happens today. Well, good morning, everybody. Been a little bit since I've been on here rock and rolling. We have a lot to do, so a little bit of knowledge that we've done. We've planted beans here, corn here, and of course, we have corn, corn. I'm thinking these last two fields are going to be nothing but beans. We're going to do as simple as can be, so let's go ahead and get in here. We just gotta get this thing started up and switch back over to beans. Turn that on. There we go. She's ready to rock and roll. Let her go ahead and get some warmed up nose. So one thing we are going to be doing here pretty soon is I'm going to be putting down payments on two new combines for the farm and a new grain cart. When we get rid of our old combines, hopefully here pretty soon. Uh, yep. We're good there. We're good there. And uh, we're going to leave that corn on the back here because ain't no real point in us pushing too much corn when we ain't when we ain't really planting that too much. Alrighty, so go ahead and put that back right there and we're going to jump on into our tractor and get that ready to rock and roll. A little bit of Walt never hurt anybody. And we are off to the races with planting. I will say I did see somebody did comment that I was supposed to be planting on top of the ridges. Uh, I'm not going to really do that because I've never planted with these. I understand that that may be the technical way you're supposed to plant it, but I'm not, I just don't see the point for it because it's not like it actually does it correctly in this game. There's not really a benefit to it and a benefit not to do it. It just makes it a little bit harder for me to plant at the end of the day. But I'm hoping that we can go and get these last two fields planted relatively quickly. The faster we get these planted, the faster we can move on to the next task of the day, which is hopefully bailing up some new bales. So let's go ahead and uh, at least for right now, go ahead and get this time out uh, started. Alrighty, so right now we're going to head back over here and get some good old seed because we are out of the good old seed. Really, truly, that's all we need. 
That field is humongous. Oh, I'm sat here for way too long. Well, right now we're actually doing pretty good. And uh, we've been at it for a nice little bit, just sitting here planting in the field. It's been actually pretty nice to sit back and just plant. I haven't had to really refill just yet. Just kind of roll along and kind of get it work done. And like that, we're done with planting. All right, so we got out there. Good thing they went ahead and the uh, local dealership dropped off our piece of equipment we wanted from them. So we're just going to go ahead and take these and head on over to where we want to bale the grass. We're going to pull on in here to the good old yard. So this is the one thing that we, fun part we do have, of course, that's uh, Midwest's farm and he so graciously allowed us to at least have our driveway go through his land. You see our land starts like right up here, but we did go through his land a little bit. So I'm not just going to drive through his land. I'm going to have fun. I'm going to have to eventually put in like a little gate. But if I say, it looks like we're doing a pretty good job with the mower. Um, I wish I wasn't having to cut it up as bad because this is just making it minced a little bit more than I'd want it to be for hay. But at the end of the day, it'll work. Well, that right there it looks like it's good. We went ahead and mowed all that down pretty well. Everything is now done with the mowing. I'm actually going to let it dry for a little bit. Maybe even let it grow back once. I don't know. We, we haven't made up my mind yet with it. Alrighty, so what we're gonna do for a little bit, we're just gonna kind of part this right here. Turn off those blinkers. Now we are going to go ahead and go ahead and take the spat to the co-op because there ain't no point in having it here because we're done with planting and sell back our old seed. All right, now we just gotta take the spat to the good old co-op. Hopefully get a little bit more jobs done. Don't know exactly what all is left to really do. I do know for a fact we need to go down to the John Deere dealership and pay them for the new combines that are coming in because they ordered them for me. And it's going to cost me $1.5 million for everything we just ordered. There's also a couple of the surprises coming with it. All right. So while we're sitting here at the co-op, we'll go ahead and at least unload this. We'll go ahead and just take that off right there because we don't need it anymore. I'm actually just going to set it right up here because they'll find, the co-op, the boys that own it, they'll find something. Thank God for the boys who helped me out starting this co-op business. They do 99% of the work. I do like none now. There we go. There's one of the empty boxes. We just got to move both the empty boxes off and kind of stack them over here out of the way. All right, there we go. Got that done. Now all we got to do is uh, pretty much put her back out there in the lot and let some other crazy cowboy take her on because we're done with planting for the year. Now, how can we get this put over here? I'm trying to think what's left. Probably it would be nice going get a little bit of spraying done, but I'm not too sure exactly what, what spraying we're doing. All right, it was just spent $2 million. Got some things purchased, and you guys will definitely be seeing a lot of what we just purchased coming pretty soon. I'm so excited. That might be $2 million down, but there's a lot more still to spend, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all so much. Love and support your show to me, my entire crew here. Sorry it was a short one, but hey, we'll see you all in the next one. Peace!